society is overcrowded as intake rates continue to rise and adoption rates continue to decrease. Our Jillian Brooks joins us live from GBHS and tells us more on what's happening there and how you can help. Jillian. Hi, Claire. I'm joined by another Claire. You guys have great taste in names, and she's so excited to be here right now. She is one of the many dogs available for adoption right now at the Greater Birmingham Humane Society. Right now, they're dealing with some overcrowding issues, but they're not the only shelter that's dealing with that same issue. They're hoping that some more permanent changes come in the future so more dogs can find some homes. We want to make sure that they have all the space they need to be healthy. You want to tell her your name? C-L-A-I-R-E. <laughs> Resident. Greater Birmingham Humane Society. Claire is one of the 135 pets available for adoption at the Greater Birmingham Humane Society. However, adoption rates are down by 20 percent, while simultaneously intake rates are up by 30 percent. The economy, um, increased price of taking care of an animal, harder to get vet appointments, um, harder to get all the things you need for a pet. Um, increase in landlords, making it more difficult for people to rent. CEO of GBHS, Allison Black Cornelius, says nationwide animals can lose their lives over this issue. Unnecessary euthanasia happens because you run out of space. We try very hard not to euthanize for space. Mm -hmm. um, shelters our size struggle with that. The state and Jefferson County do not have progressive laws or ordinances around licensing of pets and spayed and neutering, which can lead to an increase of stray pets. Lots of cities in the state of Alabama have fantastic ordinances um, that lead to controlling the population of unwanted pets. We do not have that uh, in Birmingham or Bessemer, the larger cities in our county. However, she's hoping that change is coming soon. Hopefully there's a legislator that has a bill in, uh, in the Alabama legislature. Let's pray that it gets through and passes um, anti-tethering and some other stuff in it. And um, Birmingham City Council, I think, is considering some things that they've got to do because their overpopulation situation is no longer tenable. A lot of these neighborhoods are irritated. So um, hopefully the tides are now changing to where we're going to do something proactive. Now, if you want to help out here at GBHS, dogs like Claire are ad available for adoption. There's also fostering applications that you can find online. But if you're not ready to take a pet home just yet, you can help out by providing any type of donation. We have a list to anything that GBHS needs right now on the WBRC News app. Reporting live in Birmingham, I'm Jillian Brooks and Claire, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side.